Hello my loves, I feel kind of weird right now because I haven't filmed anything for you guys in such a long time. Um, I did recently film my graduation vlog so I hope you guys like it here. It is very long because I realized I wasn't narrating it so I couldn't like just cut it in half and make it two different videos because I wasn't talking too much in it. Anyway, that's like back in production stuff. You guys don't care about that. In today's video, if you couldn't tell by the title, it's going to be a June plan with me. June is very exciting because that means we are halfway through the year and I want to take some time just to like start the video with reflecting on my vision board, see what things have like come true and like what things I want, like I really truly want for the rest of 2024. So without further ado, let's just hop right on into it. Okay, so welcome to my 2024 notion. I am really happy with the way it looked turned out. Um, I did copy a template from Jenna so I will leave her YouTube video and template and everything in the description box if you want to make your own copy. But I'm very influenced by like Sade. I really want to go to Brazil and actually let's just pop right into my vision board and see kind of where we are for uh, 2024. I can't believe it. Um, so here you can tell like I really want to get to 5,000 subscribers on YouTube so if you could subscribe I would love you forever. Um, but so many things have come true already like I'm so happy. So I am going to Brazil. I have been taking a lot more baths. <laughs> I really haven't been super consistent on YouTube so for the last six months of the year I really really want to try to upload like every week. I do, did start my podcast. I didn't even put that on my vision board, but that I don't think counts as like a YouTube upload. Like I'm still going to do that, but I also want to upload like a sit down talkie video, a vlog, stuff like that for you guys as well. Um, I have been taking piano lessons and I've been learning how to play a couple of songs and I have a recital actually June 3rd. So I'm really looking forward to that. I had like this like romantic love thing for a couple of months in the beginning of the year and it was really nice. But now I want to be a little bit more intentional and call in like a not only passionate, but you know, loyal, reliable, <laughs> consistent. Someone who can stand the test of time and isn't going to like flake the moment things get hard. So really going to be a little bit more intentional about that. Um, I am also going to Brazil. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'm so excited. So <laughs> I really want to do that. I haven't been reading as much. So I really want to like make an effort to get back into reading a little bit more. And then this beautiful picture here is a picture of Ireland, which I really, really, really want to go to this year. So I'm hoping I can make that happen. Um, and yeah, like I feel like we're on a really good track for the vision board. I might actually make a new one just to kind of hone in a little bit more on what I want for the rest of 2024. But I am just so excited. I feel like things have really been working out in my favor. I mean, I graduated from Columbia. <laughs> which is insane. And I still need to tell you guys what's next. I have, you know, my PhD um, doctor diary series. I, I need to workshop that. I don't know if I like the doctor diaries name because I feel like it's been done before by so many people. So I don't know. I'm going to give that a, a good think, but I do need to update you guys on the status because we do have some good news coming. So yeah, that is my vision board. Let's get into our January... <laughs> our June planning. <laughs> so I actually did some of this with my friend yesterday because we sat down and like just kind of like made some goals quickly. So I really want to do a meditation challenge. I think I'm going to do it short form on TikTok and on YouTube shorts, but I want to meditate every day for the day of June. I am a meditation and yoga instructor if you guys don't already know. But I have never gotten more than like a 20 day, 22 day meditation streak. So I'm hoping by doing like a 30 day challenge, I can get past my 20 day streak and hopefully have you guys along the ride with me. So that's what we have to look forward to in June. I want to, oh, I got my doula certification. So I want to start looking for a doula client soon. And then yeah, schedule YouTube and podcasts. I really want to come back on here consistently for you guys. So that's a huge thing that I'm working on. 
For my personal goals, I have practiced piano for five minutes every morning. I actually did that today. <laughs> Review morning and nighttime routines. I feel like that's been on the list for quite some time. And when I was dating that guy, I felt like I was losing myself because like we weren't like, like it was fun, but it just didn't seem like it was going to last because I didn't have good like morning and nighttime routines when we were together. So I'm actually really, really, really happy that that's no longer there. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Some of the stuff I actually cannot show you guys, so I'm just going to block that out. But good news is coming, and I will share with you guys very, very soon. Um, I want to do, I think it's called 12-3-30. I don't know why I put 3-10-30. I, I couldn't remember the name. But for all the fitness, I want to slim down a little bit for Brazil. Um, I need to order more supplements. I want to create my last summer in New York City bucket list. For the summer, I'm going to be having a last summer in New York City <laughs> series going on because <laughs> I like can't even tell you guys right now but I will tell you soon um and then I've been working on my splits still working on them um end of the month reflection I'm not gonna do that with you guys I usually journal and leave that for myself so next outside of my monthly goals and reflections. Let's look at YouTube posting dates and some stuff you guys will have to look forward to for the month of June. Uh, next day. So my graduation vlog just went live. I think I actually said it live on the 30th, so I'll move that over there. The June plan with me, I'm recording it now. It's actually, as you can see, May 31st. I'm hoping to have that up for you guys June 4th, if not sooner. I also need to <laughs> film unboxing my Gucci bag. Guys, I literally bought that bag in February as a way to like manifest love for myself. And I literally never opened it because I wanted to open it together and then I got really busy and yeah. I mean, honestly, guys, ooh, little gnat. What had happened was like I was doing really good on the YouTubes, but then like March happened and I had to write my IP. And then I found out that like I had to write another IP basically in order to get my certificate. And then I was dating that guy and like everything just got like way out of hand. Like I just had way too much on my plate. Like I had this huge project to work on for the UN and like I just had to prioritize like school and work and like my relationship that I was in that I'm no longer in. I'm definitely single and he's not the best guy so I don't even want to tell you guys about him. Um... Then I do want to post that San Francisco travel vlog because that literally is also for March. Um, a couple of vlogs last summer in New York City, Brazil vlog. And then I also want to share like my New York City bucket list. Like I've been living in New York City for 12 years. So if there's like some fun things to do in New York City, I, I know about them. I am a rookie and a vet. <laughs> So I'm definitely going to be a rookie this summer, but I want to share some of my veteran not knowledge with you because there's so many like little things you can do in the city that like don't cost a lot of money, but literally just bring my heart so much joy. And I also think it's a bit of like the nostalgia in it as well. Like, wow, I remember when I literally only had like $2 and I had to get this dollar slice of pizza and eat in this park. And it actually is like one of my favorite rituals because it reminds me how far I've come, you know? So this is kind of what we're looking at for June and then Jenna does this as well and I kind of want to steal this hack she intentionally takes like an upload off so hopefully I'll be able to upload Tuesdays and Fridays but I do want to skip a Tuesday this month because <laughs> I'm also going to be traveling I'll be in Brazil for 10 days I'll be in DC for like a long weekend so I just have like a lot of stuff on my plate but that's what we're thinking about for YouTube and then I want to do, which I don't think I've done in a couple of months, actually, my trackers. Oh, and I have some fun podcast episodes coming up, too. Let me show you guys as well. So for June, I just posted How to Date Like a Yogi. I want to do an episode on building healthy habits and happy routines because I feel like I really got out of my happy habits and healthy routines. And it's always a good reminder, like, when you're falling off on something, like, it might be something in the air and I always like to like help others through like healing myself as well and then a really good episode on ikigai if you guys don't know it's like a Japanese phrase that basically helps you align with like your life's work and your life's purpose purpose so I'll be breaking that down this month I still need to 
think of two more episode ideas. So if you have any episode ideas like about yoga or spiritual concepts or psychology concepts that you kind of want me to break down, let me know in the, com in the comments below and I will definitely get that on the schedule for the podcast. But I'm really, really excited for it. Like, I think these episodes are going to be really great and like really good, like positive psychology rooted like episodes as well. Um, let's go into, oh, Book and Media Hub. We should do that, right? I have not been the best reader. Like I said, I really got out of routines. <laughs> so the last book I did finish was The New Naturals. I don't even think I did a podcast or um a book review episode on it. But I do have a book review episode on Pineapple Street that I need to edit and get up for you guys. And some of those like videos that are kind of like short and easy to edit like that, I think I might get those up easier and I won't inc include those in like my two uploads a week because I think it's just like, I don't know. Like I just think it's so much easier to like do stuff like that. Um, right now I am reading The Reformatory which is really good. I haven't been able to get all the way into it because like it's kind of sad and racist because it's set and I think like the early 1800s or like the early 1900s, something like that. Um, like slavery is very fresh, freshly ended. I'm like, when did slavery end? 1918? I, I don't know. I was educated in America, guys. I don't really know these things. It's by design. <laughs> Anyway, so it takes place then and it's like really sad because it's about a brother and a sister that gets separated and the brother goes to the reformatory and they're literally burning children alive there. Like it's not a good place to be. It's basically jail, basically slavery. It's really, really sad. Um, I also read The Paris Apartment. That was really good. Highly recommend that. And yeah, hopefully I will get way more into reading this summer. And I do also think like... When it comes to like a partnership, I really want someone who like encourages me to be my best self, you know, like someone who's like, like I wasn't reading when I was like dating that guy and I don't like that. Like I still want to be able to like have my nighttime routine and also have a partner. But I do know that things will change. I don't know. Dating is hard. Leave me a comment below if dating has been a struggle for you because I am struggling over here. <laughs> Okay, but moving on, let's wrap this up with my favorite part that I actually haven't been doing, <laughs> which is tracking our progress on YouTube. So, whew, March, April came and went. I don't really know where I was in April or where I started, but now it's June. So we're just gonna, you know, be where we are. There's no, no need to rush. <laughs> I think I'm at 924 subscribers, which is very slow, like just considering like my usual growth, but also I have been very slow and inconsistent on the platform. So I cannot really blame anyone for not subscribing. I'm gonna try to show up for you guys a lot more consistently for the rest of the year. So hopefully that will help. And if anything, I think before I give up completely, I would cut down to maybe one video a week versus two videos a week. So I'm still trying to see how that's gonna work out. Still kind of leaning into just having faith and trying to get monetized hopefully by the end of the year. So let's see, we are at 924 subscribers, 2,627 public watch hours. Oh, which is lower. Oh my god, that's funny. The numbers are like actually inversed. Okay, and then total views. Let's see, June. And I'm like sad that it's lower, but I'm also kind of like, okay, it's like not that bad. It's like a hundred or so hours. So I don't think it's a hundred. Hold on, let me see. Oh, 60. Uh, yeah, it actually is like a hundred hours. But it's fine. We can make that up. We can we we can get back. So let's do lifetime and let's see. Ooh, 150,000, which is actually a bit of a milestone within itself. So really proud of myself. We're gonna keep on going. Keep on keeping on. Um, I'm trying to remember. Do I show you guys any other content trackers? Mm. 
Instagram, I don't really think I'm... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, let's do the podcast. I actually haven't done that ever. So let's do podcast growth, June. So audience size, 12 and 101 plays. Cool. Followers, 12. Let's do plays. Do, 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 101. Cool. Um, is there anything else that I want to do? Instagram, honestly, I don't really do that. But I do want to start the series on TikTok. So let's do TikTok to uh, March, <laughs> June. Let's see. Okay, 189. Ooh. So we got two more. Thank you. <laughs> and then 5,177. Cool. Okay. I feel good. Not gonna lie. 2024. Cool. <laughs> Normally these videos are a little longer because I like to compare my goals from last month to this month. But because I've honestly just been flying by the seat of my pants from graduation, guys, my everything was just so chaotic and hectic. I had a full house, I had so many people staying in my apartment, and I honestly was just like drinking, partying, having fun like every single day. So I didn't really have any goals for May. In April, it was really just like getting through like the IP and stuff and like that boy was kind of like taking over my life. So I'm just really excited and looking forward to the summer and hopefully next month the plan with me will be a bit longer because I'll be comparing my June goals to my July goals. But here's the last summer in New York City. I can't tell you the reason yet, but I will be posting an uh, update and tell you guys what's coming next to me. But yeah i'm just so excited i feel so blessed i love you guys so much make sure you subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>